There you go, people, we got one fish today. All right, it's nice and deep here. Oh. We can have a cast in here. Because it's a bit deeper, 3.7 metres, which is nice. Always got to find the deepest spots so the fish hang out there because they're like backwaters fam, you know? Oh dear, let's go. Right, 2.6 metres. Nice one. The mouth of a creek is always a good spot to fish on a river. So when you go back there, just anchor up in the shallows with your yak and fish in the deeper water, mate. That's a good chance of a river. 2.7 metres is pretty good. Right now, see in here, people, we've got this little cove in here. All right, let's just sit here. Let's see if there's a mulloway hanging around there. There we go, nicely done. We once had to carry a 12 foot boat with four of us, younger with more testosterone there. Right, 3.4 metres. Let's go in here now. Like that, good. We're just gonna turn side on in the wind. Oh, sugar, that's the phone. Right. If you wanna try and increase your casting distance, one thing you need to do is increase your line speed. Easiest way to do that is to maintain tension on your cast, on your back and forward cast, I'll show you, hang on. When you're fishing with soft plastics and lures, there's a few different ways you can cast, right? So as a rule of thumb, the longer the distance you wanna cast, the more distance you have between your soft plastics and your rod tip. If you wanna cast for accuracy, you shorten that distance. And the best way to cast a good long distance is to get your timing right, back cast and forward cast like a little pendulum cast and take a step at the same time so here oi nah <laughs> it ticked over oh god this reel i think i bounced the rod tip fam that's the problem with braid oh dear yeah don't oh, jimbo what are you doing bud yeah i bounced it that's why it ticked it over um when i cast that i tied about six knots around the rod tip how the hell did that happen Let's do that again, shall we? So take a step when you cast people like this, watch. Right, so get your back cast and your forward cast and step. I'll try not to tie a knot this time, so. Okay. Let's go again. Finally, we did one. Tell you what, this river's starting to come alive, people. Rightio, did I tie a knot in the end of it? No, good, rightio. Right, so all of your activity in the river is at night now, people. I'll show you how everything's firing up when we reverse out of here. Rightio, couple more casts. That shows you how much line speed we got up then. Right, I actually cut a little bit of the soft plastic tail off. Look at that. All right, let's move on. Ah. There you go, people. We got one fish today, a little tailor. Help me. The tail is actually not much bigger than the lure. That's hilarious. That shows how voracious they are. Come on, bud. Say goodbye. See you, buddy. <laughs> They're so voracious. That's why they're so easily caught. All right, people, so what we're gonna do is, see on this left-hand side, see where you have this bridge? All right, I'm gonna pick an angle around this bend here. See the bend? I'm actually gonna pick a point in the middle and fish past here. I've got the electric outboard set to one, right? And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna pick my line like so. Okay, now it's on zero. I'll give it another one. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna cast as close as I can to this bridge. I've just used the scissors to modify this lure. All right, let's see, here we go. That's right on it, people. Right where we want it. We're in three metres of water. Okay, let's have another cast. Good work, we're right on it there. It's on the bottom, you can tell, bump, bump. One more for good luck. Right, rebound cast we call that, straight off the backboard, known as the concrete. Right, it's on the bottom now, good, bump, bump. See, the um, temperature of the water has dropped one degree underneath this bridge, people. Rightio, last one. Oh, hang on, why is that water rippling through there? What we're gonna do, we're just gonna cast past here, right, and bring this soft plastics around the structure. There we go. Rightio. 
Rightio, here we go, come on. Don't you dare try and turn the kayak around because of the vein. Oh, there you go, that's as good as it's gonna get, people. Thank you. Let's take that out and chuck that on there. All right, I've gotta be careful because the kayak's trying to spin because of the wind. Hang on, bud, no, 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 you don't. Hang on, sell, dude, sell, dude. Oh, sell, dude, as they say in Scotland. There we go, people, back where we started from in one piece. Turn off that garment, Jim, because you will absolutely stuff the sounder. Good man. All right, let me just grab this. People, thanks for tuning in. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed the stream. We have got a rudder. All right, people, I'm going to sign off. Here we have it. Righty, the pro kayak setup. There we go. Outriggers on the front, outriggers on the back. GPS with the transducer there, pedals, seat, outriggers on the back, battery, all the other electronic stuff, and electric outboard. Every day is a good day, mate, when you're breathing and you're alive. Mm -hmm.